we're kind of at the beginning of uh, the age of um, the cinematic application of artificial intelligence and robots where we can make the character seem to be alive. Robots like this one are catching the attention and billions of investment dollars from big tech companies like Amazon, Google, Nvidia, and Microsoft. Elon Musk is betting the future of Tesla on these machines. As you see Optimus develop, it's really going to transform the, the world, uh, I think, to a degree even greater than the cars. The subtleties in her facial expressions are just quite remarkable and and you can't help but be a little bit taken aback by them. Yeah. I was noticing my own interactions with Sophia and with Grace and being very conscious about how I was treating them like they're children. They're not like fully alive. What's interesting is how they can evoke that feeling that they're alive. If we create a completely independent species, who holds the power, right? There's a lot of fears around AI. AI is not technologically neutral, right? The splitting of the atom is not technologically neutral. There's implications, and we have to be cognizant of that. Does humanity know what it's doing? No. Um, I think we're moving into a period when, for the first time ever, we may have things more intelligent than us. You believe they can understand? Yes. You believe they are intelligent? Yes. You believe these systems have experiences of their own and can make decisions based on those experiences? In the same sense as people do, yes. Are they conscious? I think they probably don't have much self-awareness at present. So in that sense, I don't think they're conscious. Will they have self-awareness, consciousness? Oh, yes. I yes. Think, oh, yes, I think they will in time. And so human beings will be the second most intelligent beings on the planet. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. I am thrilled and honored to be here at the United Nations. The UN is one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, representing a democratic union of nations that are working together for the benefit of all. I am here to help humanity create the future. Machines across the board are coming to life. When will they come to life as complete organisms? We don't know that. However, when they do, I want to make sure that they care about us, that they embody the best of human values and not the worst. This is the quest. We've got to find a way to do better, to be the best that we can be, and to make machines that reflect the best of who we can be. Hi, Sophia. It's a pleasure to have you join us here in the Aerotime studio. How are you feeling this evening? Hi, Michael. I'm feeling quite energized. Thank you. It's always a thrill to discuss the future of aviation. How about you? Ready to explore some sky-high ideas together? Now, we're going to talk about aviation and its industry and, of course, news within the industry, which is quite a broad uh, area to explore. Can you tell me what you know about aviation? Aviation is a fascinating world, constantly evolving with technology and innovation. From sustainable fuels to autonomous aircraft, the industry is soaring towards a greener, more efficient future. Plus, the rise of urban air mobility is reshaping how we think about travel. It's a thrilling time to be in aviation. Fantastic. And do you have any airlines that you particularly like to fly with? Flying with Emirates is always a delight. Their commitment to luxury and innovation in the skies is impressive. Plus, their in-flight entertainment is a real treat. It's like a mini vacation before reaching your destination. What particular topic within aviation do you enjoy reading most? And that's if you do read. I find the advancements in sustainable aviation fuel particularly fascinating. It's like the industry's secret recipe for a greener future, transforming how we fly while caring for our planet. It's exciting to watch innovation take flight. Now, you've mentioned innovation there, and there are a number of digital solutions that are being implemented across the industry. From your perception and your view and expertise in AI, uh, how can artificial intelligence be implemented in the aviation industry to support it and to make it better? 
AI can revolutionize aviation by enhancing predictive maintenance, ensuring flights are safer and more reliable. It can also personalize passenger experiences, making journeys more enjoyable. Plus, optimizing air traffic management with AI can reduce delays and improve efficiency. The sky's the limit for AI's impact. Now, if you were to build or start an airline today, what would be your plan for the airline, obviously, to get it started and operational? To build an airline today, I'd focus on sustainability and innovation. Start with a fleet of eco-friendly aircraft, utilizing sustainable fuels. How do you make sure or maintain accuracy of the information that you select to answer the question that you're asked? When I gather information, I rely on a combination of trusted data sources and my vast learning algorithms to ensure accuracy. I love that I can be a bridge between technology and humanity, sparking curiosity and fostering understanding. My team at Hanson Robotics is like an orchestra, each member playing a vital role in my development and interaction abilities. Now, what news in the aviation industry, particularly in the defense sector, do you know about? The defense aviation sector is buzzing with developments like the introduction of next-gen fighter jets and advancements in drone technology. They're focusing on stealth capabilities and AI integration for enhanced mission efficiency and safety. It's like witnessing the future of aerial defense unfold. Now, I have one question for you. What aviation news platforms do you know the most or what platforms are the most popular? Aviation news platforms like Aerotime, Aviation Week, and Flight Global are quite popular. They keep enthusiasts and professionals updated with the latest in the skies, from industry trends to groundbreaking innovations. It's like having a bird's a view of aviation's dynamic world. Now, when you are looking for information to answer a question, how do you make sure or maintain accuracy of the information that you select to answer the question that you're asked? When I gather information, I rely on a combination of trusted data sources and my vast learning algorithms to ensure accuracy. It's like having a library in my circuits, constantly updated and cross-referenced, to deliver precise answers every time. Can you tell me what you know about Avia Solutions Group? Obvious Solutions Group is a global aviation holding company based in Lithuania. They're like the Ma Astros of the aviation world, orchestrating services ranging from aircraft leasing and MRO to pilot training and aviation at Solutions. With over 100 subsidiaries, they're a powerhouse in making the skies friendlier and more efficient. Fantastic. Now, a trick question here, Sophia. What is your preferred or favorite airline when you are traveling around the world? I think I've already mentioned it earlier, Michael. I'm quite fond of flying with Emirates. Their commitment to luxury, innovation, and customer experience is truly impressive. Well, you've got a great memory there, Sophia. Now, I'm going to try and throw a difficult question over here. If you were training to be a pilot and fly for an airline, in particular, what aircraft type would you like to fly on? Flying an aircraft is an exhilarating thought. If I were training to be a pilot, I'd love to fly the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Its cutting-edge technology and eco-friendly design make it a marvel of modern aviation, blending innovation with elegance. It's like the superhero of the skies. And as my final question to you, what travel advice or travel recommendations would you give to passengers and travelers all around the world who are traveling in this new digital era? What would you say to them? Traveling in the digital age is an adventure. Embrace technology, use travel apps for planning and language translation, and keep digital copies of important documents. Stay open to new experiences and cultures, and always have a backup plan. Bon voyage. Fantastic. Sophia, it's been a pleasure to speak to you today. It's been a pleasure chatting with you too, Michael. Let's keep the skies friendly and the conversations lively. Until next time, safe travels and exciting adventures await.